Hi, my Cancers. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your weekly spread for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, um, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature. Same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes, so please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can um, answer you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, pendulum for divination and prophecy. Um, I've got a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on, jamiezebra23.com. These are, this is a general reading. This is not a personal reading, so it may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further in insight. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, your weekly spread. This is what's up. A lot of you have some very good news coming in regards to a car this week. I feel like for some of you, you also might be traveling this week with the world card here. It looks like you'll have a great time. I do see that for some of you, um, you might be dealing with a fellow water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. We got the Three of Swords here. So, unfortunately, it looks like there could be a fellow water sign that's juggling you and other people, or a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo that's juggling you and other people, or a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius that's juggling you or other people, um, or somebody else doing, or you, you're doing this. Either they're juggling you, or you're juggling them and somebody else. Um, I feel like for some of you, um, with this King of Cups here, it could be a man or a woman. This could possibly even be you. I feel like this person, you know, they're sort of trying to dip their toe into emotions. Um, but they're not quite ready yet. They're just not, you know, they're not ready yet. Um, with the ship in the background of that King of Cups, I feel like this person likes to travel and likes to experience new things and new people. It shows the energy of somebody needing to be the center of attention and wanting just, it's like everywhere they go, they maybe have a new sex partner. Like uh, every night that they go somewhere, they go out, they go, you know, you know, to clubbing or whatever they do. They get a new number and that's another booty call. And this could even be a woman doing this. Whoever this is, is somebody that's like a bachelorette for life or a bachelor for life. They, um, they're only interested in the new and the fun. I feel like this person maybe tells white lies just if they're, so like, let's say somebody like confronts them. Let's say you're confronting them or... Or they're confronting you about something. You might be like, oh, of course I only want you. I'm only interested in you. Oh, I don't know that person. Even though they just, you know, did it with them. I've never heard of the What? Who? What? I don't know how that got on my phone. Mm -mm. Lies, lies, and more lies. And this could also be coming from a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, or a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Mm. I also see that for some of you, um, after you kind of put, connect the dots. So this is either you connecting the dots or cross watchers. You're connecting the dots with a cancer. Okay. Um, you're going to decide to just let this go. You're going to be like, you know what? I, I think I've had enough of this. I see where this is headed. I see you can't, you know, do the right thing. So I think I'm just going to back off. And then with the magician card in the reverse, this is, this is sadness. This is pain, but I feel like somebody's just going to focus on themselves. Once all this you know, once the truth comes out this week, towards the end of the week, you guys are just going to decide to do you. Or if you're cross-watching, you're going to decide to do you. Also, I see that for some of you, there's a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo from the past that's coming back. This person may have some mental illness issues. Or this could be you with the mental illness issues. Maybe you, you get a little bit too clingy. Um, maybe they get too clingy. Maybe they were stalkerish. Maybe they just cry for no reason and freak out for no reason. Um... Uh, Maybe everybody calls them bipolar. Maybe everybody calls you bipolar. But it does show somebody trying to get back with an ex. And the ex is like, um, heck no. 
Um, the X could possibly be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, or it could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. Mm. But this person really wants nothing to do with Cancer. It's showing. So, if Cancer, if you try to get back together with a fire sign or an earth sign this week, they want nothing to do with you. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, if you try to get back together with a Cancer this week, it looks like they'll say yes to you. Um, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, if you try to get back together with a Cancer this week, it looks like they're going to say yes to you. I also see that for a lot of you, there's brand new love. Either you, it just started or it's about to start with the Three of Wands here, the Ace of Cups, and the Chariot. This is something that's moving quick, quick, quick. Some of you will start a new relationship, or you just did, and it'll, it'll, go, it'll go quick, but quick as in you'll feel like you've known the person forever. And it does show the relationship will be successful. So a lot of you have very successful situations that are either on, that are going on right now or about to go on. Mm. I also see that some of you will be going on trips with people, maybe in groups of threes or just uh, groups of two. Maybe just like a couple's trip or two people trip or just a, or a three person trip. It shows possibly three or four trips coming up. Um, in July and then several more in September. So if you're still with the person, you might be going up. So like, let's say cancer, you're, you're dating somebody. If you're cross watching and you're with a cancer, if you guys have already gone on trips or you plan on going on trips in August as well, this month and then in August, there will be a lot more also in September. I do see that there's a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo that's trying to get in, in between somebody's relationship this week. This Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo um, knows some personal things, but I feel like they don't want to pull out the receipts. I feel like they might leave an anonymous message or message you from a number that you don't know. Just to say, FYI, so-and-so, you know, was sleeping over here yesterday, or so-and-so slept with my friend. Or so-and-so was, you know, seen over here doing this. I feel like they got pictures or receipts, but they're not they're not going to send them because they don't want drama. They feel like if they send the receipts, that you, the rotten party, the party that's doing the, the undercover sneaky shit, will know who it is. Will know who's snitching. So they're not going to give the receipts until later. Some of you already have an inkling that there's something wrong with somebody, but you're, like, pushing it to the side. I feel like for, um because of your ego some of you don't want to say okay it didn't work okay we didn't the relationship wasn't successful this I, I moved too fast I was wrong some of you due to your ego you don't want to admit that there's something wrong um so some of you even though you know something's wrong may even stay in this relationship for another year um while this other party uh, makes you to look like uh, the laughing stock makes you look like this person's going to make you look like, um, you know, a lost puppy. They're going to make it look like you're, you know, you're not very smart. Or if you're cross-watching, this could be a cancer making you look stupid, a cancer making you look like you're not very smart. Um, but either way, you know, whether you're just a cross-watcher or you happen to be a cancer, um, I feel like you should, you know, use common sense. You know, where there's smoke, there's fire. Why would all these people be making up the same exact lie for what what do they have to gain from it all right my cancer it's jamiezebra23.com have an amazing week ta-ta for now